Hello everyone. Welcome back to, uh, I guess it's Flat Top County in Transport Fever 2. Okay, so uh, last time around, got time rolling and put in a train station down here. Yeah, uh, a train station. Yeah, terribly exciting that. And some freight operations. Right. So now what am I going to do? Well, I had two options that I was considering. I was considering bringing the train connection down from uh, Mesa View uh, down to Bridgeport. Yeah. Uh, and that actually does seem like it's probably the smart thing to do. But it's a right pain to get the track from here over to here. Because we have to go through all of this business with lots of tunneling or uh, come around along the uh, riverbank and then up this way. So I think I'm going to come down along the highway here and uh, do that when I do that. Now the other option was to run the track up to uh, Box March. Now that's a little bit more straightforward. Uh, we can come around here and I think we can punch through the uh, ridge here. Uh, although that's a pretty substantial ridge and then it could hit uh, hit Dewey and Davy uh, or uh, split off to box March right but I think uh, I think I'm gonna come down to Bridgeport so question is then where do I put the train station in? this whole Bridgeport Bridgeview uh, operation here, right? Now, I think it probably makes sense to put it on this side of the river. Uh, and where to put it? I think probably right about, right along the river, actually, I think. Uh, can I squeeze it in under the bridge? That would actually be just about perfect. Okay, so if I grab a train station building, um, right, what's that? Open cut? No, we don't need open cut. Um, underground? No. We don't need curves. Okay, so I guess, I guess we're going for a regular station. Uh, we'll make it. 320 meters because this is going to be a big uh, operation here uh, right we'll use 1920 station style yep uh, we'll put a full a full roof on it I'm gonna put four tracks on it uh, I'm gonna build the station with high-speed tracks and no catenary uh, and I'm gonna put no building on the initial build okay so, I can, in fact, get the station under the bridge. Yes. I can, in fact, get the station under the bridge. Don't have enough cash, but uh, that's fine. Uh, there we go. Now, where do I want to line this up? I want to, I think, line it up as close to that bridge pillar as I can. Uh, angle it about like that, which means I can get a little bit closer to the pillar and do that. And that's Bridgeport. Yes. So the, uh, train station under the bridge, that is, I think, exactly the right thing to do. Now, uh, if I configure this, and I go for uh, passenger buildings. I could put a. Oh, that's. Oh, I could put uh, I could put a building there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna put a double building there. I can't actually get a building there. Um. But, I could get a building here. 
Yeah, I'm going to put a building on the other side as well. No, I'm not, actually. No, I'm going to leave that as is. Yeah, yeah. So, so if I uh, get out of that... Oh yeah, that uh, that hits this um, this uh, train this um, uh, tram station. So yeah, I'm gonna have to move the tram station probably over here. Actually, yeah, that's what I'm gonna need to do. So kill Chestnut Street. Go in here and build Chestnut Street here. Yeah, so that is Chestnut Street and Tools, Tram, build that. Yeah, take that out. Right, okay, yeah, that's definitely better. Right, so that will allow me to bring tracks out along the river here and along the river here. And I think realistically um four tracks is more than i need but i'm gonna want uh i'm gonna want one track coming down this way and probably another one splitting off coming this way so yeah and then one will go off this way and the other one head toward holville yeah maybe uh i might actually need more tracks yet uh Right. Okay. So tracks. Uh, okay. So, so we come out here and make it flat. Uh, and we can even make it a full max speed business here. We're building it with catenary. Well, what are you going to run on it? You're going to run an electric, aren't you? Well, in that case, you really should have built this with uh, catenary. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll go back to building the, uh, the tracks now. Okay, I need to get along the riverbank and then come around the corner here. Okay. So... Uh, we need to come around a bit. I can run this flat along the river here, and that that should be uh, that should be decent. Uh, okay, so we come through here. Did that do flat? Probably not. Um, and uh, give me a moment. Uh, an alert just went off of some kind. Oh, okay. It's uh, an alert I can ignore. And is that even flat? I think it is. Okay. So how do we get it to stay flat? Well, we do this. Yeah. And now... Uh, connect that. Bam. Yep. Yeah. And that. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. And I need to come past here and pop around there. Okay. So, uh, I guess I need to come around uh, come around kind of like this, I guess. And I need to be on the other side of that road again yeah so uh make that a cut yeah i'm gonna make that a cut for sure uh how did that get to 180 okay let's try that again and pay attention um Well, 200 is probably, that's probably okay. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. 
and do that do a cut yep and then here need to do that yeah now what got to build the rest of the track oh okay so build the rest of the track oh look we're up to eight million in the uh in the bank okay attach okay good okay done that uh right and we have to come around the nose of this thing which means you probably want to bend around roughly like that i think yeah that's uh, definitely fast enough okay so we come up this way yep uh now i need to come continue around like this and now i can actually let it go uphill yeah so we can come around uh like this 280 is definitely fast enough okay right so we'll come around like this now we're beside the highway now i need to come up here and get this out of here uh which okay i want to be on the i think i want to be on the middle uh wait if i come out oh that is nice i like that okay uh what bridge uh this guy no uh no go a little further okay go no which uh no i want what's that no do we get a bridge that actually doesn't collide with the road no 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 okay what about this guy no wait well that's interesting that's a girder do I like the girder maybe okay uh okay what bridge uh right so this one no nope. what about that one oh that's interesting uh-huh okay what kind of clearance does that give me underneath it gives me enough i i'm gonna go with that one uh okay now ah okay i i, I can do the thing i want to do i think so i can do this no i can do this yes i can okay good so i can get this to come in like that yeah okay i think i'm okay with that yep that gets it out of the station and now i need to uh now if i come out level and i do an embankment 
that's kind of tasteful. Yeah, it is kind of tasteful. So I could come across like that. Yeah, that's not an egregious embankment. So I definitely think that's uh, acceptable. So we come up to there. Good. Now, I need to get around back of here. And then, okay. So we come around here. Oh, flat is pretty much what we want to do. But I want it to come back to about here. Yeah? Yeah, which side have I got there? Okay, good. Right, and then this one uh, comes around like that. And then this one comes around like... Um, this. Yeah? Oh. Okay, make that. Yep. Uh-huh. And that one? No. Okay. Uh, right. What bridge do I shove in there? What what was I what was I using before? No. Uh You know, I'm going to... No, I'm not going to use the iron bridge. No. Uh, no, I think I'll go back over here. Drag it. Grab... Is That just seems flimsy, doesn't it? But it does 300. Yeah, it does. That one look any better? Actually, I think that one looks better in this case. But it only does 120. What about this one? Those ones, no, that, that, that's the flimsy looking ones. Yeah, what about this one? That one does 300. What is it? Yeah, that looks flimsy too. Uh, right. What about... Oh, yeah, uh, a viaduct like that. That is the way to go, the stone archway. Yeah. You know what? I think that's where, that's how we're going with it. Okay. Right. Now, where's the... Good. Right. So that means now it needs to come all the way around and up here, right? Really? It's 18 minutes to get this far? Uh, interesting. Uh, we, uh, we come up here. Good. Right. That is, I think, an acceptable rail line. And I'm going to need... I'm going to need one of these here initially. Uh, I'm probably, just for completeness, I should put put a full X crossing there. And I'm going to need one down here too, uh, ultimately. Zoom in so you can see what you're doing. Yeah, there we go. And a couple of signals is going to be important. So I'm going to need one there. And I will definitely need one uh, over here. Yeah. And maybe a couple pairs of signals along the line somewhere. Like there. Say around here. Yeah. Maybe around over here. And probably one more set right about here. Yeah, okay. Now, how are you going to get a train on here? Well, I'm going to build a depot. Yeah, but where are you going to build the depot? Well, I think I'm going to build it down here over at Bridgeport. Okay, very good. Now... 
How's that going to work? Well, it's going to work very much like this. Uh, whoosh. Flat. Okay. And whoosh. Flat. Why are you pointing it both ways? So I can bring trains into the depot. Oh. Well, you might have a point there. And now I need to build a depot. Whoosh. And we've got a road in the way. Yeah. It's because you built too much track. No, you can move the road. Yeah, you can definitely move the road. So build the depot. Uh, no. Build the depot. Now go and get a piece of road. Street. Country street. Yep. Go for a bendy road. Okay. That's a bendy road, all right. Yeah, okay. That fixes that. Good. So, launch a train. Yes. Buy a vehicle. Electric. What do we have uh what do we have for multi-units? Nothing good. Okay, so electric. What have we got? Well, we could use the Milwaukee. Um it only does it does 120. The crocodile is, uh -huh. that one does 100. Uh, yeah, that one's 12 mil to run. This one's only 8.5 mil. Uh, this one is 13 mil. It does 160. Um, yeah, that one does 90. That one does 125. It does 125, but it's... Oh, it's, it's, well, we don't have a lot of climbing involved here, do we? So, uh, I think we could, I could get away with the, the, uh, lighter, yeah, uh, 1.4, well, maybe, well, the Milwaukee is, okay, you know what, I'm going to take this guy. So add one of those. Yep. What's this? Drive backwards. Oh, I see. Now, passenger. Uh, do we have a coach that does close to 160? Uh, we have the streamlined coach, New Mexico one. Carries 18 and does 150. That's uh, 30 tons. This is 35 tons and does 19 and 180. You know what? I'm going to add... I'm going to put five, uh, five uh, coaches on there. Uh, okay. And we have 20, we have the millions to buy that. So, uh, new line, it's going to go here. I'm going to pause this while I do the thing. And here. Unable to find a path, missing electric tracks. Yes, I, I, I uh, understand that. Uh, um... Okay, so this is going to be uh, Bridgeport to Mesa View. Did I just use Mesa? Intercity. Uh, I did. Okay. Uh, right, so now I can close that and I can go up here and I can fix the electric track business. That's in here. Um, that is electric. What's missing the electric? Oh, 
Oh, no, no. That was the high speed, right. Uh, yes, okay, I can fix this. Do that, do that, do that, do that. Okay, now, will that allow our train here Okay, so we're going to add that to there. What? Unable to find path to stop. Okay. Uh, why can't we find a path to the stop? Um, okay, if we go in here. Oh. There we go. Now grab the train uh we're gonna ride this yeah and we're gonna ride it at uh regular speed so we can just observe it here yeah uh this was today's project and it looks to have gone uh fairly solidly it does seem like there isn't enough uh pillars there post doesn't it yeah it kind of does oh well okay now into the station we go we're at Bridgeport this actually looks nice with the uh, bridge over top there yeah uh, I do kind of like that we are probably not going to pick up any passengers because there's no passenger connection at the other end. I just want to run the line and see how it how it performs. Right. And off we go. Should be picking up speed once the back of the train leaves the uh, crossover there. And auto save. Yeah. Here we go. We're picking up speed. Right. Well. Well, we're going to get up to 80k at the very least. Yeah. Well, we're going to get to 90. Right. We are, by the look of it, going to exceed the standard track speed now. And here we go... And now we can justify the high-speed tracks, because we've exceeded that. <clears throat> Three-quarters of the way to the max speed as well. Yeah, this part of it came out pretty good. Oh look, we're at 140k. Well, it looks like it's going to hit max speed. Well, that's kind of good. So, just about at max speed here. This is the part where it's climbing, right? So... And... Come on, tick over. There we go, max speed. Yeah, we got 160k. So it's a longish line, and that's kind of what I wanted uh, on the map, is some space between the metros, right? Uh, to run proper intercity inter 
type services. Here we go, sweeping around back of the uh, industry there. Yeah, this has, uh, this has come out actually, I, I quite like it. It's come out really nice and plausible uh, for a high-speed line. Uh, minimal elevation changes, it's, uh, it's all quite plausible. Oh, that looks nice coming up the uh, throat of the valley there with the mesa off to the left there. That, uh, that kind of works. And here's our uh, bridge over the, the highway. We come on into the into the platform where we have a passenger or two waiting. Nice. Okay, so we've got a couple passengers waiting. How many will it pick up to go back? I'm not going to ride it back, but how many? Uh... Nine. Ten. Ten of them going back. Okay. Uh, let's just uh, check in on here. Uh, we're losing 21 million based on a 24 million uh, investments budget. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the uh, running cost on the train? Uh, yeah, it's... Two million down. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's just uh, speed that up. Uh, now I want to go check at the other end of the line. Do we we have passengers waiting? Thir Fourteen of them. So they're coming in from here. Uh, what what line is that? That's that line. What line is this? That line. Uh, then we got the inner city line. Yep. And we've got, ooh, oh, 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 wow. Okay. So you are buses, right? Manage vehicle. Uh, replace. Okay. So this one, it does 60 and carries 12 passenger that is our best uh, best bet okay well let's put let, we don't have enough money to do that okay let's put another batch of those on there and here uh, and this one manage it and put another batch on there too yeah yeah that that seems sensible uh doing that uh, we'll end up with uh more uh now what's this one okay that one, uh, we're not doing too bad there, but we've got, yeah. So this one, manage vehicles. Yeah, okay. Right. So... So that's a few, uh, that's a few there, uh, and this guy manage. Probably need a few more uh, on there. Yeah, that'll get uh, that'll get some uh, passengers moving. Uh, we've got thirty six passengers there, and we got a train rocketing down here. Uh, right. Uh, 
Okay. Let's see what it uh, comes in at. For uh, It's got 41 passengers on board, and it's going to get... Uh, one point one one mi one million. Okay, and it's going to take. How many is it going to take back? Uh, a few. Okay, oh, yeah, once this bed's in, yeah, this should do nicely uh, for a money maker. Yeah, forty six back. Okay, so it's it's running about half full, initially. Uh, so if I look in here. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, not losing that much money. Okay, so uh, that's going to definitely be the cut point for this episode. Uh, that is a project that is is uh, successful. Yeah. Uh, so next time, not sure what I'm going to do, uh, but it's probably going to involve uh, maybe renovating towns or, no, probably extending the rail line to the other direction. Yeah. Uh, to another town. Uh, yeah, that, that's probably what it'll do. But anyway... Uh, that's all for this time. Uh, I'll mention on the way out that if for some bizarre reason you want to support the channel, I do have a Patreon. The link should be in the description if you if you want to you know avail yourself of that. If not, well, you can ignore it. You know, that's just the way it works, right? And yeah, with all that said, see you back next time.